Hello and welcome to my little world. So this week I finally got started on working on my theater, but I didn't get started till very late. I only started on Sunday, which was yesterday. So uh, today is Monday and I'm still working on it and I won't be posting this till Tuesday, which is tomorrow, because I'm trying to get a little bit more done on the theater so that I can keep my promise that I made that I was going to start working on it. But before that, I was just I've been very busy uh, still putting away Christmas things and reorganizing things. And of course, there's still more of that to do, but I'm keeping some of my decorations out and just taking my time in putting them away and still enjoying a lot of them along the way. So uh, I will put a timestamp if you want to jump ahead to the theater part of this. But before that, I'll just be sharing with you some of the things that I was doing before Sunday. So shout out to Yumika and Torchan, and welcome to you. Thank you for coming to visit me today, and let's see what I've been doing. So I've taken down about half of my Christmas decorations, but one of the things I like to do after Christmas is to take the ornaments off the trees and then just leave the trees sort of natural. So I have this batting that I like to use as snow. So I've added that to this green tree and then put birds and owls in it and some snowflakes. So I'll keep it that way for a while. And then this tree was the blue and gray silver tree and again, I took all the ornaments off of it. And it's a flocked tree. So then I left some birds in it. it looks snow covered. And then I have these really pretty icicles. I have some white ones. I might even add those in. I haven't done that yet. These were just the ones that I had on the tree already in light and dark blue. And then I also have these pretty little silver poinsettias that are nestled in the branches. And then down below, I have my sweet little mama and cub bears. Little white church. And these trees with some pretty white reindeer. I got my Mouse King Nutcracker out because he didn't get to make an appearance yet this year. But I thought maybe I'd have him over here going for a visit at the castle. I think he's a pretty cool looking Nutcracker. And I transferred the Silver Santa in the white sleigh over here to the mantle in front of this beautiful curtain. So I'm just displaying them this way for a while. Looks so pretty and wintry. And here's my beautiful owls that I like to display as well. I bought these cardboard trees at the Hobby Lobby after Christmas sale and also bought some green netting and just wound it around the tree shapes to make some more trees for my forest. And as you can see, got this one for 89 cents and I think the others were 59 cents and then the netting cost me a dollar. Here is the tree in my bedroom with just the lights on it and a few little characters sitting below. And 
then I found some pretty pink pillows that I got. So I had to put them out for a little while. Along with my favorite little rabbit on my bed. Then I put some new batteries in my train and fixed the snow going over the tracks so the train wouldn't run into it and had fun just watching it run around the little village. So I thought you might enjoy that with me as well. I bought this snowman shirt after Christmas, but I didn't really like how it fit me. So I cut it up and decided to make it into pillows. So it had a snowman on both sides of it, so I could make it into two pillows on my brown couch. One of my tasks after Christmas is always reorganizing all of my Christmas decorations. So I've been doing that with the ones that I took down, putting them in all these boxes in my closet and labeling them. I need to get some more labels. And of course, this is just half of the things put away. Some of these boxes are still empty. Most of them are actually still actually full but I have floor space which is going to be taken up by a whole lot of trees and I have space way up high where I'm planning on putting my sleighs so organizing things is fun for me I try to put them in order so that they will be easy to access and to think about what goes with what when I'm decorating next year. And this is the other side of the closet where I have all these really pretty hat boxes that I keep ornaments in. It can also be fun sometimes using these boxes as part of the Christmas decorations and putting them under some of my trees. Now for the theater. This is the box I'm using to make my theater. It was my great nephew's uh, box that his chair came in. It's nice and sturdy and thick. And see how thick it is and kind of heavy duty so this is the inside and my plan is that I will be able to close it up Like that. I was playing around with these mirrors that I have. They're plastic, but they're painted gold on top of black. And I decided that they would make a good ceiling. So 
I painted the cardboard gold and then I'm just gluing the mirrors onto the ceiling. I think that'll look really pretty. I got this wooden laser cut design from Hobby Lobby and painted it black. Here are a couple of metal pieces that I used to hang on my wall and hang my necklaces from them. And then one of them broke and so I took them down and I've had them and I thought they would make a nice decorative touch to the theater. So in my infinite wisdom, I decided to break off the one that wasn't broken. And then, because I thought that I wasn't going to use the little curved pieces, and then I realized that they would make really great chandeliers. So now I'm gluing them both back together with E6000. Hope that works. I got these two shelves at Goodwill. I didn't know what I was going to do with them. But when I was looking at things for my theater, I thought they would make really nice um, boxes. What are those called? Like theater boxes where people get to sit up high and look down on the stage. So these are just some uh, shelves that you hook onto a wall, I guess. So I'm going to find a way to hook them onto the sides of my theater and I'm also going to paint them. I have this pretty lace that was in my stash and I'm painting it gold. I painted all of these things gold. And there you have various colors underneath so it kind of gives different shades of gold. With this one, I'll probably do um, a, a watered down black or brown wash to bring out the details. And this is the gold paint I'm using. Now I have glued the gold lace onto these little shelves that are going to be my theater boxes. This is a curtain that I already had. I used to use it to cover my sewing machine. I had done a hand stitched edge along the sides uh, before I got my sewing machine. And right now I've cut it and I'm using uh, tacky glue along the edges to fray check because it really is wanting to start to fray. So I'm using that along the cut edges that I'm not going to turn under. And then I have some turned under edges and I'm using Fabri-Tac for that. I cut a slit up the center of the fabric and then cut eight inches across on each side. You'll be able to understand better when you see it up later. But then I took and gathered the part which is at the top of the curtain that will be in front of the stage. And then I used Fabri-Tac to glue this pretty gold braid onto the part that I hemmed with Fabri-Tac earlier. I cut holes in the sides of the curtains and added tacky glue to fray check them. By the way, this color looks a much brighter red than it is in real person. In, in real life, it is more of a kind of dark red burgundy color. Now I have glued this beautiful fringe trim onto the curtain right above the openings. And I also turned under the edges to make a nice smooth hem on the cutouts because just fray checking it didn't look good enough. 
This is a poster I have of the Nutcracker Ballet, and I'm using it for my stage. So I just glued it down with tacky glue. And there's the ceiling up there. Here's the curtain glued inside the box. And I've, I've glued it up at the top. And then right now I have some pins stuck in it, kind of holding it up there so that I can figure out exactly how I want to set things up. We have the boxes, the curtains around the boxes on the sides, and I'll be putting wallpaper behind those. And then the boxes, the theater boxes will go on either side. like this. So that's all I have for this week. And I will continue working on this and maybe have the interior completed by next week. So please come back to see me then. Bye-bye.